Good morning, YouTube. How is everyone doing? Happy Friday. Woke up this morning and we do have a update for World War II. Uh, it come out around, I want to say about 2 a.m. this morning. So a lot of you may already know there's a bunch of videos out already on it. If not, I'm going to cover it with you right here on the tweet from Sledgehammer Games. We've just released our Call of Duty World War II game update for the PS4 and the Xbox One with a number of improvements including connectivity optimizations, user interface improvements, weapon balancing, and more. Read the full update here. I will leave the link to the Reddit link uh, down below in the comments so be sure and check that out. Also drop a like, subscribe if you're new, comment below your thoughts of World War II, the experience you're having, good or bad. Um, with a game this popular, they're going to have a bunch of issues. So it, it's not my surprise that they're having to go through all this. But nonetheless, enjoy our first double XP weekend till Monday, 10 a.m. Pacific. That's, I believe, 1 p.m. Eastern or whatnot. So double XP, time to grind all weekend, level up, prestige, all that good stuff. And on the update right here, like I said, I will leave it below be sure and check on it and they say on the reddit thread welcome to our first patch note update we've heard the community loud and clear over social channels and we're working around the clock to ensure a better experience for all players we've been tracking issues as they arise on our end and have pushed an update to address some of your top concerns below are all the changes and fixes we pushed out today for the multiplayer connectivity improvements and optimizations Fix deranking issues, address an issue where players encountered an infinite load screen, leaderboard stability improvements and bug fixes, general user interface improvements, loading optimizations, split screen functionality improvements, add a new unlock inventory stars to indicate when new items are added, adjusted hit marker audio to be a higher default level. Note it can be adjusted in the settings. I haven't looked at that yet, so if you have, let me know what that is all about. Fixed out of world exploits on Gustav Cannon and St. Marie Dumont. Espionage basic training reduced painted time from 10 seconds to 6, made it so only bullet damage paints you. Weapon tuning to allow for one shot kills outside of hardcore mode, enabling challenge completion. Fixed infinite flamethrower bug. XP earn rate tuned in Operation Neptune. Fixed the issue of shotgun variants not appearing. Emblem editor and visualization improvements. Game battle improvements and fix the gridiron ball exploits and the big one for the multiplayer weapons buffs and nerfs we knew a lot of this was coming but nonetheless the buffs are the walter toggle action shotgun damage increase at extremely close range the brand lmg increased damage per shot in the lmg bipod sped up the aim down sight time when in bipod stance the nerfs the bar rifle yep they touch the bar. Decreased fire rate and widen hit fire spread. It's not that bad. Don't freak out. I mean, if you hit fire, it might get a little wild, but I mean, that's with any assault rifle. Uh, the STG 44 widen the hit fire spread. I haven't tried that out yet. The FG 42 assault rifle increased recoil and widened hit fire spread. The machine pistol. Everybody's been saying this like a little pocket SMG. Decrease the damage range on it and the sniper class fixed the bug with all sniper rifles zooming to exact center when aiming down the sights. For the zombies update, the zombie map exploit fix, clip it into a zombie spawn closet, using revive mechanic and laboratory, fixed claws pathing, fixed out of world exploit on the final reach. Be on the lookout for an additional update tomorrow along with the Call of Duty PC game update as well. And at the time of making this video, I believe the PC and Xbox are having issues. I don't know if they just can't get into a match or if they're having matchmaking issues, but there are some kind of issues on the Xbox and the PC. So with that said, if you use the bar, let me know uh, your thoughts. And according to the YouTuber Drifter, it's not that noticeable. Um, one of the pros, Clayster, tweeted out that it's actually a little bit better to control. So let me know your thoughts and experiences. If you use the bar, I use my unlock token on it. You can check out the previous video on it. It is a pretty awesome gun. Um, really enjoying using it. So let me know what you think. Comment below. 
Um, I'm sure there's going to be a couple more updates. Like I said, we have double XP until Monday, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 a.m. Eastern. So be sure and jump on, grind out, level up, all that good stuff. Be sure and check out the team links in the description below. You can follow us on Twitter and sub to our YouTube channels. Hope y'all have a great evening, and we'll catch y'all in the next video.